Jonathan of foreignfilmcast.com again here with another quickie late night movie review. Tonight I saw Polanski, a film memoir directed by Laurent Buzero. This was at the Los Angeles Jewish Film Festival. There was a previous, this is a documentary, and there was a previous Polanski uh, a documentary in 2008 called Roman Polanski Wanted and Desired, but that one focused on the sexual assault case in which Polanski pled guilty to the charge of unlawful uh, sexual intercourse with a minor. This movie was much broader, but if you're interested in the Polanski story or the history of cinema, this movie is worth watching. Uh, he's clearly a director who has made his mark. His movies include Chinatown, Tess, Rosemary's Baby, The Pianist, Frantic, Macbeth. I found this story fascinating, even aside from the sexual assault case. He experienced the Holocaust in Krakow, Poland, and lost his mother as a child. Uh, he describes being shot at uh, by a German soldier. Uh, during this period, he missed out on years of schooling, but as a child, he began acting. Then years later, uh, went to film school in Poland. Probably the biggest point of drama, aside from the sexual assault case, is the murder of his previous wife, Sharon Tate, in 1969, who was killed by the Charles Manson, quote, family. The movie was shot in the Stadt, Switzerland, mainly during the period when Polanski was held in Switzerland in, I'm sorry, in 2009, after flying there to receive an award at a Swiss film festival. There are two main interviews, one before the Swiss decision uh, and one after. The interviewer was Polanski's British friend, movie producer Andrew Brownsburg. One interesting aspect of the movie is that it uses scenes from Polanski's movies to illustrate many of his life experiences as he describes them. Old film footage and photos are also used. There was a Q&A after the movie and the director noted that the movie had not been shown in the U.S. previously, uh, but that it would be released as a video on demand, although it would not get a theater release. Um, he also noted that this movie had been released in other countries um, with different types of reception. Uh, in the U.S., he'd, he'd been criticized significantly. Uh, criticisms are that this movie has a bias in Polanski's favor. Well, of course, it's this is clearly a movie uh, of Polanski's story from his point of view. He's he's the one telling the story, uh, so there's an innate bias there. But uh, if you enjoy the story of cinema or are curious about Polanski's history, I think this is something you'll enjoy. I found it intriguing and enjoyed it very much. Good job.